Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps. I hope you're having a great day. I am excited to be part of the video hop that we are having for Honeybee Stamps and their latest release. Uh, they will be giving away two $25 gift cards to anyone that leaves a comment in this video and also all the other videos that are part of the hop. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. We are gonna be making this lovely lady, Vanna White. And I hope you guys can sit back and relax and enjoy the video. And I will be back with you guys here in a few seconds to talk about the video. You guys have a great day, a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi there. We're going to be making a card using the kind buzzword along with the matching die set for that. We are also going to be using the lovely layer bugs die set here. We're going to be using the butterfly. We're also going to be using the Swirling Leaves Pierced A2 cover die. We're going to be using the Modern Spring Paper Pack. We're going to be using this wood uh, piece. And we're also going to be using the Wood Frame Builder from a previous release. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get the paper, uh, the piece from the paper pack we are going to put some piercing leaves on this just to give it a little bit of detail. And basically I'm just going to take this piece of paper, I'm going to lay down the die cover plate here or the pierced plate, and we will place some tape on this so that we can get it to stay onto the paper. And then we will run it through the die cutting machine as we always do. The back of the paper is beautiful. Two-sided paper is like the most horrible thing in the world for a card maker, right? The next thing we're going to do is build a frame here. So I'm just going to take all the pieces of the frame. I'm going to put it on some Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock here, place some tape onto the pieces and go ahead and run that through the die cutting machine. Now that we have that out, I'm going to use some 3M foam or some foam tape to actually go ahead and get this frame together. And I'm just piecing them together with the foam tape. And then as I get the corners done, I will go through the process and add foam tape all the way around the frame so that it'll be popped up um, on the card once we place it on there. And I know you can't see the bottom of this frame, but it's exactly the same as it is um, at the top. I'm just putting pieces on the corners to make sure everything's straight and everything's good because we don't want a crooked frame. I mean, we could, but not today. Now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and start placing the other pieces of the foam tape onto the frame. And we'll go ahead and start removing uh, the backing uh, to that here in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and get some honeybee glue. And I'm going to put some glue on the back of this paper so that we can get it placed onto the card base. The card base is 110 pound Nina Solar White. Um, it is a top folding card at five and a quarter five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to use plenty of glue here to make sure that the piece of paper stays onto the card base. We're going to line this up and does my head show up? Does my head show up? Mm, it does not. How did this get straight? I don't understand sometimes you guys. Anyway, so we have the panel here and you really can't tell once the piercings on there, but that is a piece of paper that's supposed to look like a piece of wood. Now that we have that down, we're going to go ahead and place the frame onto the card base as well. And we're going to do that carefully to make sure that it's even on all sides. And we'll go ahead and press that down. Now we are going to put our butterfly through the die cutting machine. And we'll be doing some ink blending here in a second once that gets cut out. Um, I'm just going to place each layer onto the paper along with the little itty bitty body. We'll put some tape on that and run that through the die cutting machine as well, just like everything else. Okay, we're going to do some quick blending here. I'm going to use some frayed burlap for the body of the uh, butterfly along with the legs and the antennas. Now we're going to go ahead and take Kitsch Flamingo and we are going to do the top part of the wings on both layers. And I'm going to wipe that down because I don't want all the colors to get mixed in. And then we're going to use Salvage Patina to do the bottom part. And I love it because it makes this like grayish purple between the middle. And I just, 
I just love that color. I don't know what it is, but it's just really pretty. So now we're going to go ahead and start putting the butterfly together. We're going to put the one layer on top of the other. And as you can see, I really didn't need to color the body of the uh, original layer because it gets covered up by the blue. And then we're just going to put another piece of the body on top of that. So, um, you know, learning as we go to make this card that we don't have to blend everything because not everything's going to be showing. Alrighty, now that we have the butterfly done, we are going to start do working on some sentiments here. I'm using the kind sentiment buzzword die set. And we're going to go ahead and run that through the die cutting machine. And then we are also going to do the same thing on two additional white pieces of cardstock. I'm just going to cut this down, go ahead and run it through the die cutting machine, and we'll have three total layers. We're going to take all these layers once they are out of the die cutting machine, and we're going to glue them all on top of one another to give it a little bit of dimension. We're going to save the little eye thing there, the tilde, I think it's what it's called, tilde, or the tittle, I think. And uh, we'll save those because we need to put all those together as well. Here you see me placing the layer upon layer of the white cardstock. And then the last piece that will go on top here will be the gold glitter paper, which, gosh, how much do we love a gold glitter paper, you guys? Alrighty, so we're going to get that down using the tweezers here. Awesome. Get that pressed down, make sure it's all nice and even, everything's all lined up. And there we go, there we have it. We're going to press it down just to make sure it's sticking real good. The next thing we're going to do is the next parts of the sentiments, which are going to be little sentiment strips. I'm going to use some embossing ink here. We're going to dip it down into this embossing powder. Shake it off. You gotta shake it off. Giving you a little bit of Mariah there. Then we're just going to take a sentiment strip die here and we're going to run this through the die cutting machine to go ahead and get these uh, two uh, little sentiments die cut out. Obviously I couldn't get that through for a second. <laughs> All right, now we are going to start putting the card together. The first thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of foam tape uh, behind the butterfly here and then some liquid glue along the body. We're going to make this look like it's landing on the frame here. And I actually put the foam tape in the back of the wings to give it a little bit of dimension, but only remove the backing from one side. Um, keeping the backing on the other side would allow the wing on top to go back and forth and not get stuck and it just shows a little bit more dimension on the card. Now what I'm going to do is take the foam tape, I'm going to place it all along the back of the, of the die cut here so that it's hidden, but we need to be able to make sure that it stays propped up because, you know, the frame is propped up, so we need to make sure the one side of the sentiment is also uh, just as tall, so that's why we added it here. And then I'm using some reverse tweezers here to go ahead and place the sentiment where it needs to be. I'm going back and forth trying to decide, and I finally decided on this little area. The butterfly is covering up part of the D. It's fine. It's great. I'm putting the little tittle there for the eye. We have that there. And now once that's done, we're going to place some foam tape on the back of these sentiments. I'm just testing the areas out to see exactly where I want them to be. And they are, they are where they're going to be. So <laughs> I got stuck there for a little bit, you guys. Sorry about that. So anyway, we're placing the foam tape on the back. We'll go ahead and place or remove the backing and we'll go ahead and get that placed on the card and the card will be complete. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support for Honeybee Stamps. Remember, leave a comment down below for your chance to win one of two $25 gift cards and make sure you follow along on the hop and leave comments on those videos as well because the more comments you leave, the more uh, chances you have of winning these gift cards. So here we are, we're removing the backing from the sentiments here, and the card is gonna be complete. I almost added a little bit of bling. I was like, do I need some bling? Because I kind of feel like I did, but in the end, I did not do it. 
So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.